Hey everybody, thanks for joining me back. Today we are going to do a little recapping of sorts of a previous stitch and we're going to mix it in with another pattern. So I have done the C to C or the corner to corner stitch. I have done the afghan. I have done a dishcloth. I have also done the decrease video for it and I've also done the border for the afghan. Now I am going to show you how to work a scarf. So basically I have had a lot, a lot, a lot of questions, comments, concerns, problems, issues uh, come to me since I have produced um, the initial stitch video, also the Afghan video, of lots of problems that need uh, attention. So I figured that I would just go back and try to reteach a little bit also of the stitch as well as uh, teach the scarf at the same time. So I'm hoping that this helps to answer some of your questions that, that a lot of you have had and also uh, teach you how to make another uh, project with this. So I'm using um, a standard four weight yarn and an I-9 or 5.5 millimeter hook. And this is I love this yarn. Um, so that's just the basic yarn that I'm going to be using. So there is no certain um, color that you have to use or certain weight of yarn you have to use or hook. It's your choice. Just understand it will be bigger or smaller based on what you choose. So now to start with, it's going to be no different than what I did teach into the previous uh, tutorials. You will start off with that chain six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So you want to go into that fourth chain from your hook and double crochet. All right, and now you're going to double crochet into the next two chains. And I really want to help simplify this. Um, it's really a very, very simple stitch to do. Um, I just think it gets overworked. And I'm here to try to help sort that again. All right, so basically that's all there is to that. That's your first block along with your first row. Okay, so one thing that I have to still point out about this is until you get past your second row, you do not want to let this twist on you. Okay, you want to maintain a hold of this until you're up to your third row. And I'll show you that when we get to the second row. So now you want to turn and hold on to this. You then want to chain up six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So at the beginning of your rows, you want to chain six. So go back down into the fourth stitch. So one, two, three, four. I want to make sure I had six, yeah. Okay, so double crochet into the fourth and then into the next two as well. Holding on to that first block like you see I have it. I don't want it twisting in the wind and trust me, you do not either. I think that's where a lot of the uh, complications are coming. Now, I still have hold of it right here at the seam where you see it's not going anywhere. Now I'm on purposely going to let this go and I'm going to show you what happens if you let this go and you let this just have its own way. So if I let this go, you see what that does? That's going to twist on you and then when you are not paying attention or if you're not familiar with the stitch, you're just going to go and pick this up and just grab it and just start working here or here. That's where I believe some of your problems have come into play. So if you're not familiar with the dynamics or the setup of this stitch or this stitch pattern, you probably don't recognize this. So you do not want to let this go. This is the proper way in which this stitch should be handled and looked at um, at this point. So now what you want to do is you want to work into the end of your very first block. So you have your first double crochet, your second, your third, and then you have the partial of that original chain six. So what you want to do is go into that space 
at the very end and you want to just simply slip stitch. Now you're going to chain up three. That's going to be your first double crochet. And you want to go right back into that end and put three double crochet here. So each block is going to consist of four double crochet, just like I explained in previous tutorials. Okay? Now you can let go of that because that's going to maintain itself there. It's not going to twist on you. So now you have completed row one, which is this first block. Row two is your second, uh, your two blocks here. Now you're going to just turn. Now you're going to chain up six because you're at the beginning of your row. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So again, double crochet in the fourth from the hook. So one, and double crochet in the next two. You're just double crocheting down the chain. Nothing any different here. All right, so that's your first block of the third row. Now you're going to do nothing no different than what we did here. So you've got your first block here. You want to work into that gap at the end of that block. So you'll slip stitch and then chain up three. And now you want to finish making that block. So in order to do that, you have to make that a full block. And a full block is four double crochet. That chain three is one double crochet. So that means you have to add three double crochet here. So one, two, and three. Okay, so each row is going to add a block. So that means you're going to have to make an extra block per row. So you've still got to make another block here. So you go to this last block, into that last gap, and do the same thing. So slip stitch, chain three. So that's going to be your first double. Now you've got to complete this block. So if you have one double here, to complete the block, you have to have four. So you have to put three doubles. So one, two, three. And look at there, you have your third row is complete. So one row has one block, two rows has two blocks, three rows has three blocks. Now you're going to turn and you're just going to start repeating. Like I said, if you can count, it's, it's kind of self-explanatory now. So chain six, so two, three, four, five, and six. So we're just now going to start repeating again. So in the fourth uh, chain, you want to work your double crochet. In the next uh, chain, you're going to do a double crochet. And in the next chain, you'll do a double crochet. Alright, so that's your first block of row four. So now you're going to go to this block and you're going to work a slip stitch into that gap at the end of that block here. Chain three. That's your first double. Now you want to finish this block, so you get to put three doubles here. One, two, three. All right, so that's two. So we're on row four. You have to make four blocks, so you've got two more to make. Go into this next block, go into that end gap, and slip stitch. Chain three. And now complete the block by making three double crochet. Okay, now you have three blocks. You have to complete this row with four. Go into that very last block, into that last space. With a slip stitch, chain three, and complete this last block putting three double crochet. <laughs> okay, so that is the completion of row four. So you're on row four, you should have four blocks. So let's turn, chain up your six. One, two, three, four, five, six. OK, 
Okay, and same as what we've been doing, go into the fourth from the hook and work a double crochet. Double into the next chain. And double into the next. So now row five will have five blocks. That is your first block. Now you want to work into the first block from the previous row. Go into that space at the end of the first block with a slip stitch. Chain three. Now to complete your block, put in three double crochet. One, two, three. Second block completed. Jump over to the end of the second block and do the same thing. Chain up that three then once you've slip stitched and make your three doubles. Block three is completed. Jump over and work block four. So being on row five, again, you want five blocks. Okay, so we're at the end now. So you want to go into the end of that last block with a slip stitch, chain three, and make your three double crochet. Now, that's the end of round five. You should have five blocks total to complete row five. Now, basically when it comes to making a scarf, you can make it as wide as you want to make it or as thin as you want to make it. We're going to go one more row and then we're going to start forming our side. So we're going to go six blocks. So let's chain up our six here. So one, two, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, double crochet into the fourth from your hook. Into the next. And into the next. All right, so now you're going, that's your first block. You need six blocks. So we're going to slip into the space of the first block with a slip stitch. Then you're going to chain three. And now you're going to make your block. So put three doubles here. That's your second block. Your third block work as normal. So that's a slip stitch, chain three. And three doubles. That's your third block. You got three more to go because this is row six. So slip into the third block, chain three, and three doubles. Okay, now block five, you want to slip into the end, chain three, three doubles. Okay, and now our sixth block, just slip into the end, chain three, and you want to do your three doubles. All right, so now you will have six blocks. Now we're going to turn, and now we're only going to be decreasing one side. You want one side to continue building and one side to stop building. Okay, so that means you're going to be building an edge, a squared off edge, and that's, that side that you stop building is just going to start getting a flat edge. So the way you want to do that is, and it's done two different ways, and that's totally up to you. 
you can slip you have to do three slip stitches total you can slip stitch into the first double crochet the second double crochet and the third double crochet or you can go into the second double crochet third double crochet and then into the space either one it's your choice um, so I go into the first double crochet second double crochet and then the third double crochet okay and then you want to chain up three okay so if you've seen you seen what I did there I'll take that back out and do that once more you're not going to chain up anything you're just going to go right into the top of that double crochet and I'll come down a little bit and I'll let you see a little closer because this is where a lot of people have problems and if you know how to decrease or slip stitch that's all you're doing so basically you go into the same stitch that you're in slip go into the next stitch slip go into the next stitch slip you have to have three total slip stitches and that's all there is to decrease them simple very simple three simple slip stitches that made your you see how that squared off that's all that there is to making your decrease on your C to C then you want to chain up three and then you're going to work into the space and work your square so then you'll put your three double crochet here that's all there was to it okay and now you're just going to continue like normal making your blocks so slip stitch into the next block and chain three and finish making that block okay and now you're going to slip into the end of the next block and chain your three and make your three doubles so when you decreased on this row and we had we stopped building blocks at six you're only going to have five blocks okay so slip into the end of the next block chain up three and make your double crochets in the in this block and do the same in the next work your next block Now, when you get to this end, you are not decreasing this end. You are going to allow this end to continuously build. If you decrease this end, just like you did this end, you're going to come up with basically the dishcloth that I taught. Um, it's going to turn into a solid square. And you don't want that, unless, unless you do want that, but this tutorial is for the scarf. So you want this to continue building its length. Uh, so you want to leave this side building length so just slip into it as normal and continue making the block so chain three and put in your three doubles okay so now this is what your piece should actually look like at this point it's looking like a set of steps now you're going to turn and you want to chain up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So now we are building our next block. So double crochet into the fourth uh, chain. So one, double crochet into the next and into the next now you're just going to slip into the next block and build this block
Okay, slip into the next block and build that block. And I did not do color change in this tutorial because I felt that I already um, touched on that in my other tutorials that I did. So I wanted this tutorial to be more about the scarf project itself and more about making sure that um, the stitch itself got a second teaching and more of an understanding than trying to focus on changing the color. But color change is the same no matter what stitch, what stitch pattern you're doing. Um, but I have already touched base with that. So you can go back and look at the other tutorials for the color change. So let's slip stitch into the next block. And let's build this block. So basically, this whole end here and in the middle is going to continuously build. So slip and make the next block. And slip and make the next block. And another way to make a C2C scarf, you can make square blocks in the C2C and join those together. That's also another way to make a C2C scarf. Now, once you come here to our squared end, you're going to just square that off again. So you're just going to go into the end. You're not going to uh, build a block here because we're building on this side only. So all you're going to do is square it off. So that means you're just going to slip stitch here. Now, we're going to turn Okay, so once you've turned, all you're going to do is you're going to simply slip stitch in the first, in the second, and into the third. And that's going to keep your edge straight across. So all there is, and I cannot put enough emphasis on the decrease, all the decrease consists of is three slip stitches row back to back three slip stitches okay and then it just goes to building your block very simple chain three and then go into the space and work your three double crochet okay once you've done that then you go into the next block on your row and slip stitch chain three and just build your blocks across And like I say, important, important, important. The, I, I think I have felt since, uh, and just keep working across your blocks here. I have felt from day one since I produced the video of the C2C, I think it came out with a boom. The stitch did. And people got so crazy over it. And, it's a, and, and, and I did myself. I loved it. But when it came out, I think it got so thrown into crochet that it got overworked in a lot of minds that it was made into a bigger, uh, how do I want to say it, uh, technical deal than really what it was. And I think it's still in a lot of minds, it's more technically difficult than really what it is. And I feel it's stuck in a lot of minds in that in that sense and that's what's still in a lot of minds out there it's difficult and really it's not it's it's nothing no different than what you do daily uh, you know you double crochet and you slip stitch there's there's that's all there is to this um, so I'm hoping that this is really helping you to understand this concept okay so let's keep building these blocks here and if you hear crunching in the background, that is Charlie. Charlie is always in the background making all kind of noises in my craft room. Uh, he's just a busybody in here. All right, so we're at the last uh, block here. So this is the end that we are continuously building. So you do block here. 
you want to I'm sorry let me rephrase that you do want to build a block here so slip stitch chain three and build your block Charlie thinks he owns this craft room I'm building him not building but uh, I'm going to be making a him and Sable a uh, cat cocoon for the shelf both of them each get their own so all right so I'm gonna back up so now this is what you have and as you can see this side is building blocks still this is the bottom and this is the side that we blocked off meaning no longer is building okay and you see it's still like a stepway and look how beautiful the colors are working in there um, so this is going to continue to grow straight this is going to continue to step and this is going to continue to have a, a solid edge but grow in blocks um, and then what's going to happen once you get this long enough we are going to uh, so, uh, slowly decrease this side and then it's just going to taper off at the end and it will become straight across at the end as well so once you decide that it's totally long enough then that's when you will uh, taper that end off as well all right, so now you want to chain up six here. One, two, three, four, five, six, because this is the end we're building on. Go four, fourth down, and do your double crochet here. And work one in the next as well. And one in the next. All right, so go into the next, and you're just going to build your blocks across. So chain up three and then work those double crochet. Okay, into the next block. Just always make sure you have four double crochet for each block and that also includes that uh, chain three so make your next block make your next block And one more block. Now you're at the end again. All we're going to do is block this off. So you just want to go into the end block, into that gap, pull through and through for a slip stitch. And then you're going to turn. Now all you're going to do is keep this edge straight so work your three slip stitches so you got your three double crochet here so go into the first one slip second double crochet you want to slip third double crochet you want to slip okay see how your uh, solid edge moved up three stitches now you're just going to start building your blocks so chain three three double crochet into that gap and uh, this is all you're going to do you're going to keep doing this until your project is long enough now start working your stitches or your blocks now uh, and I really don't know uh, how much more I can simplify this stitch for for you guys um, I was very hesitant about even um, trying to do another tutorial um, because it's really the same technique uh, I can't teach it any different so this is basically just uh, the same type of uh, it's the same video basically it's just using it in a different project but I wanted to help best I could to try to uh, help help everyone to understand it you know um, 
because it's no fun wanting to do something but you you try and try and try and you just can't get it so um, okay so now we're at the end that we're going to keep building blocks so you slip stitch into that end and work that block but um, again I'm teaching it no differently here than what I did before other than I'm just showing you how to make a scarf alright so now you turn and now your project you see is getting longer now you're just going to keep working this until your scarf is totally totally long enough okay it's just going to keep going in a long long rectangle and then once that is at the point in which you are happy with the length then uh, the decreasing will start and um, I'm going to work this a little bit longer. I'm not going to do a full length scarf, but I will do this a little longer for demonstration purposes. So as soon as I get this a little bit longer, I will rejoin you and then I will work up the uh, d total de decrease end here for you. And um, then that should uh, finish up our tutorial. So I'll be back with you shortly and we'll do our decrease. All right, so I have done a little bit more length and I'm not gonna do a full scarf, like I said, because I feel like you get the picture here. So I have ended on my decrease side here. So I'm going to decrease. So slip in the next stitch, in the next, and in the next. And now we're gonna start decreasing our next side. So you're still gonna be adding about another four or five rows to this. So let's chain three and let's build our next block. So um, just keep this in mind whenever you start to want to decrease uh, completely that um, it's still going to add a couple rows. So um, make sure to allow for that. So just build your blocks like you would going across this row. And these build very quickly. Um, me, myself, when I'm making a uh, C2C afghan, um, like a lapkin, I can do almost do one in a day. Uh, I think I have done one in a day. If I were to do a twin size afghan, I could have it done in a weekend. They just move, move very quickly. Um, so if you're looking for a weekend project, something you have to have done for a baby shower, a wedding gift, a birthday present, anything like that, these move very quickly once you know how to do this. Okay, so now once you get to your other end, and your other end is where we were still building, well we're not going to build anymore, we want to start decreasing this entire project. So you're going to do like we did on the other side instead of building the block here now you're just going to decrease this so go into the end stitch and where we would normally build that block you're just going to slip stitch now you're going to turn and now like we do on this other side you want to slip stitch three times so go into the top of that first double crochet slip into the next double crochet and into the next double crochet now you see now you're actually going to have an, a finished edge and whenever I said it's going to add rows I didn't mean that it was going to physically add more length it's just going to add more rows through here that I should have clarified myself um, so now you're just going to build your blocks so now you're going to have a chain three and build into that space just like we've been doing so build that first block here and then build into the next block it's not physically going to add length it's just going to add you're, you're still going to be working rows but not add link length um, so slip stitch into the next one work your block and work your block so um, you're going to end up with one less block every time you decrease on a row 
All right, so now you're at the end of this row where we have been normally decreasing. You want to slip, pull through there, and then you're going to turn. Okay, so now you end up with four blocks. Now you're going to just decrease here, so you want to slip into the first double crochet, slip into the second, slip into the third. And now you'll chain your three and then work your block. So do your three doubles and then work your next block. Okay, next block. Next block. Actually, your next block is your slip stitch. So you want to go into that uh, gap, pull that slip stitch through. Now you see you're down to three blocks. Now you want to turn. You're going to do your three slip stitches in a row. So one, two, three. Now chain three. Work your three doubles to form this block. work into the next block okay and now you're at the end of the row very quickly again so you're just going to slip into there then you turn and now you're going to do a slip here into the first three again And now chain three and work your block. All right, and that's pretty much how we finish off our C to C block. So now the last thing you have to do here is you want to close this up. So all you're going to do to finish is slip stitch into that gap. And that's pretty much all you have to do to make a C2C scarf. You make it as long as you want and that's all there is to it. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys out. You also learned a new project with the C2C and I hope this clarified lots of questions and helped you guys a little bit more with this stitch. So until next time guys, hope you enjoyed. Happy hooking!